filled by the Holy Ghost is so key because as Elijah said, it opens a whole new world to people so that the rest of the word can come to life so much more. So that's a, that's a desire of mine to see every single person on earth baptized in the Holy Ghost. It's not just for certain few. Y'all know that. I get to the choir. This is the kind of thing you're going to hear. Well, it's not for everybody. You know, I'm fine the way I am. You'd be better baptized with the Holy Ghost. That's why. I don't mean holier or whatever. I mean a fuller life. That's why I like, I was just uh, talking about the other day and saying that's why you have so many people telling you that, that things like healing and stuff weren't of this day and that women can preach and all of that kind of stuff because they said a lot of times those aren't spirit-filled preachers or those aren't spirit-filled people who are trying to discern the word with man. And he said, but that was never the purpose, that was never the way the word was supposed to be divided. He said, but once you have the spirit, then you can, God can, God can tell, because like if you look at the word, you can get like a hundred different meanings out of one Bible scripture. But God, and through the Holy Spirit, you can divide what he wants you, like what he meant for you. Absolutely right. It makes a difference. And that's a key for us here. When I listen to the different CDs we play at prayer times, there's one in particular, and I, I'm sure, I think it's William McDowell CD, where he keeps saying, release the supernatural. Release, you know the song I'm talking about? Release the supernatural. They just keep saying it. Release the supernatural. I thought about the night Peggy was here, July 8th. Yeah, July 8th. And that was the night we talked about releasing the revival. Just going out and releasing it. I know Shannon said something about that in the last week. When I told you, when I told you, well, I'm just going to say it. Don't be, don't be mad at me, but Alan will just now go up to people and just say, if he sees they got trouble, he'll just pray for them no matter where. Alan walked in there and heard him say, I've been real dizzy. I've just been so dizzy and sick this morning or something. And later when that, you know, Alan didn't embarrass him in front of a ton of people. He was waiting. Only waited until the room cleared out. He said, do you, do you believe in the young power of Jesus? I guess Jimmy said, well, yeah. So Alan, or oh, what? Yeah, he, he sort of said that. <laughs> he sort of said that, yeah. So, and Alan said, well, do you mind if I pray with you? I heard you say he's dizzy, and Jimmy's like, yeah. So Alan laid hands on him, prayed for him, left. Came right. down, didn't you leave then? Yeah, right after that, I come back down here to check the keys he made. And, but after I prayed for him, you know, it sort of opened the way for him to ask for prayer for something else. He said, why are you praying? Pray for my friend, surgery on his birthday and he, he just said keep keep his friend in prayer so he'd seen him in the hospital and, and that's that's the key I wanted to bring out. It opens a door. When we lower our pride to do something like that, we follow the leading of the Holy Ghost. But when we do that, it opens a door and that person is more receptive to what you've got to say and will even say, Hey, will you pray for my friend? My friend needs it. That is releasing revival, the way we talked about July, and it's releasing the supernatural. It's time for us to release the supernatural. And when I was telling Shannon about what you did, you said something in the Facebook message. I can't remember about yet. Yeah, it's time for us to in want a code or something. Do you remember? Well, I've just been feeling that it's it's not uh, the revival's not so much going to take place right in here. That's that, what I mean. that we carry the revival Ooh. with us wherever we go. Jesus, Jesus. And, and exactly what he did is exactly what we need to be doing. Yes. That's releasing the supernatural wherever we go. We're agents. We're agents for God just to go out there and everywhere we go, we've got this supernatural something we can release. Release, release. That's what it's all about. 